Hi everybody, welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about my favorite uh, makeup brushes. And they're not all high brand or they're not all drugstore. I have a mix and match of them. Um, I didn't really use brushes too far behind from that. I just really started getting into not only what is up with my eye I'm telling you this eye waters a lot it tears up a lot so sometimes they'll even come up all the way over here and mess up my eyeshadow boot to my eye so today um, I'm going to show you my favorite brushes I'm going to try to make it as fast as I can uh, it, but still give you as much information about them. So I'm going to start with the foundation brush that I use. It's this brush. I bought it at a, it's from those beauty, beauty brushes, my beauty brushes. I bought it at TJ Maxx for like $7.99. And I really like the way it applies my foundation. It's a powder and contour brush, but, and it's, it's, it's clean. I, I clean it. So you, it's really soft, very soft. So for my um, for my corrector, I use this little number here. I bought this at CVS. I don't know the name of the company, but it's an eye crease blender. But it's so perfect to put on my corrector. Love it. And then I like this one for concealer. I use this. It blends it out. These these blend really nice, and they're really really soft, really good. So then. Um, for my eyebrows, why did I take it out? For my eyebrows, I usually use this Anastasia of Beverly Hills, the number 12. It has a really good spoolie and a really good angled brush. Perfect for my eyebrows. I have brushes in here too. Duh. So then uh, for putting on... Like if I'm going to put on a primer or anything like that, I use one of these two brushes. This one is a Sonia Kashuk. I don't know what it is, but it's a Sonia Kashuk. And then this is an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. And this is what I put my primers or my MAC um, Paint Pod in Soft Ochre. This is what I use. And then uh, when I'm gonna set my eyes, or I'm gonna I'm gonna put that light shade, I use this shader eyeshadow brush from Sonia Kashuk. Oh my god. Um, I think that my favorite favorite crease brush or blending brush is the 224 from Mac. It's so perfect. It's so fluffy. I have some from Morphe that I like too, but this one, I think this one's my favorite. And then I have this one from MAC too. And then I have another one that I really like. Not from MAC, but from, uh, from Morphe. That I like using it to put on. To blend out a crease color. Where can it be? These are so similar. These are so similar. The M504 and the M30. Look how similar they are. Right, but I like these to blend out, to blow out the crease color. Now when I'm gonna pack on, wait, let me talk about this one. This is one of the oldest brushes I have. It's a Sonia Kashuk crease brush. And when I'm gonna put that transition color, this is just so perfect. It's natural bristles, I just, it, I can say that of all the brushes that I have, this is like one of my favorites. One of my favorite brushes. And then, you know, I like putting a small amount of dark color right here and blending it out. And this is the perfect brush. This is a MAC 221. It is a natural bristle. It's just the perfect, perfect precision brush. Brush. I, I just love it. I also have one uh, from uh, Morphe, the M514. It's almost the same one. 
if, if you guys don't want to spend $20 on this one, and I think this one's like $4.99 or something like that, this one's a good one too. But I like the MAC one better. Um, my favorite pencil brush. I do have one and I, oh, here. It's the Eco Tools. It's an Eco Tools one. I like it. I, I like it to put dark color on my crease and I like it also from the bottom of my, I like it. <coughs> oh my. My, perf my, my favorite powder brush is from Sephora. I like this brush. It is pinched in the barrel. It is the perfect, perfect powder brush. It, it's not for, it's not to apply powder foundation. You can use it for powder foundation if you just want to sheer. Uh, that's what I use it to, sh to, to set my foundation. But if you want, I like to use a stippling brush, the MAC 187, to apply uh, powder foundation. I normally don't, it's so soft. I normally don't use powder foundation without a foundation in the bottom. I just don't like it. I feel like, like it looks too powdery and it just comes off really quickly. But I do like to use powder foundation to set my foundations, like my more sheer foundations. Or a BB cream. Or a CC cream. So yeah, that's what I like to use for powder foundations if I'm just going to put powder foundations. It, uh, to bronze, I like this one. This is the Morphe R1 is from the Rose Gold Collection. It is a natural bristle, but it it blends out your bronzer so nicely. Love it. Um, blush. I, I mean, the, for me, there's no other blush brush like this one. This is a real technique. The brush, but it's so big. When I first got it, I was like, this is going to be so big for blush, but it's just... Perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. Mm, for contouring, this is a new favorite. This is the one that I've been using lately. Uh, this is from Sephora, and this is a modeling foundation brush. But as you can tell, it, it's just perfect. And then I can do this. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect. Now, if I want to lay down a cream contouring, uh, uh, contour cream, I use this from Sonia Kashuk. I just put it, and then I blend it out with this one. Either this one, or where are you at? This one. The this was the Sephora one, and this is a Real Techniques uh, sculpting brush. Um, another, okay, so this one, this one is a blending brush. It's an elf blending brush, but I like it so, so much for highlighting since it's dense, it's dense. It has a little bit of a give, but it's dense enough to where when you apply your highlighter, it just buffs it out into your skin. It actually like melts it into your skin, which gives you a really, really nice glow, but a strong glow. Because I use the fan, like I use the fan today, and, and you can see it. Ooh, you can see it. But I feel like this just puts it all over the place. It's my uh, Morphe 310. It's a good brush. But... I like this one better. I don't know why. I like this one better. Uh, for whenever I'm going to highlight my brow bone, and I use an LA Girl concealer, the lightest one. I really like it. I use this little brush. Once again, I bought this at CVS years ago. It's a concealer brush. And I really, it's perfect for my, to blend it out. And then I use this little eyeliner. It looks just like the concealer brush, but it's tiny. And I use this for my inner corner highlight, my tear duct highlight. That's what I use this one for. And then, what else? Sometimes, I, it's not my, one of my favorites, but sometimes I use this little fan brush. It's in a B34. 
to highlight my Cupid's bow and my, my nose sometimes. And it also works here. Gives you better sometimes. Uh, my favorite brush to put on, like sometimes I like doing this and I, I like using this brush. I like using a really like dark brown or black eyeshadow to give me a little bit more of a dimension. Instead of using an eyeliner, I use a really dark shadow or dark, a dark brown or dark black shadow to give me a little bit more of dimension right here in my eye. My lash line. I use this um, Morphe M165. Not only does it apply it precisely, but I can blend it with it and it gives me a really nice blown out look. Love it. Uh, what other? Oh, I, my favorite eyeliner pencil. This one's from Essence. This is a little, tiny little eyeliner pencil. Perfect. Perfect for gel eyeliner. I like using it with my Tarte clay amazonian clay eyeliner perfect it gives me the best wing i love it so what else what else do i have what else is my favorite i think that's it oh to set my under eye this brush i i like it better than than this one the real techniques uh setting brush this is a setting brush and it's okay but i don't love it i love this one this one's an elf small tapered brush and it's perfect it it buffs out it lays down product really good and then it buffs it out really nice so i use it to set my under eye perfect so, yeah, I think that those are it. I mean, I have, a, I mean, all the brushes that I have, I like, but they're not my favorite. But those are my favorite. Those are the ones that I use on a regular basis, on a daily basis. So, if you have any uh, suggestions of good brushes that you guys use, please leave comments down below. Um, I would really appreciate it. I'm always on the hunt for a wonderful brush, you know. Uh so if you have any questions or if you have any comments or if you have any suggestions, just leave the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video and please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed and you want to continue watching these wacky uh, videos of mine, please subscribe. Thank you so much and I'll see you next video. Bye.